In this, a very special edition of NSFW, we're joined by Tom Merritt, who takes us on an emotional journey of highs, lows, spectacular failures, and thrilling successes. Brian, Naka, Justin, Tom. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 64 for February 22nd, 2011. Now apologizing, convention attendees. This episode of NSFW brought to you by Squarespace in space. Head on over to squarespace.com slash NSFW. Sign up for your free two-week trial. And make us look good for our bosses. Squarespace is awesome. I love you. Hey, <laughs> England skipper Andrew Strauss arrived in London proudly showing off the little urn. I'll spend four days at home before flying out for the World Cup. And Belinda, I just can't understand how something so small can be so impressive. Well, Mark, you would know about that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Weather's next is Jane Riley, but first, here's George Negus. Coming up. No hesitation. Boom! Just like that. Just like that, it is time to start NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Webernets. I'm Brian Brushwood, joined as always by my inimitable co-host, Professor Justin Robert Young. What's going on, J.R. Weibels? I got more thumbs than I know what to do with, Brian, and they're all going up. Want to know why? Because I'm having uh, a great time tonight. It's Tuesday, NSFW is on, and my word, we are joined by not only... A, a Mount Rushmore uh, member of, of the NSFW uh, Guest Hall of Fame, but maybe one of the best people on the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, you know him from that one time that he bonded with a gigantic spider and tried to take over the network. Tom Merritt's here. So, Mars Hello. Hey, How's it uh, going? I noticed you're rocking a, a St. Louis hat. Is that in honor of what? the fact that I'm here in St. Louis at that very moment? You are yeah, your deep underground bunker uh, is located tonight in St. Louis. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd uh, I thought I'd give a little shout out. This is the yeah. uh, road cap of the St. Louis Cardinals because I am not in St. Louis. Oh, that's good. That's okay, nice. that's good. But your heart is in St. Louis. And what's great is we are here. I'm here for a conference, but as you all know, hotel Wi-Fi is absolutely terrible. Thankfully, friend of the show, Gigaloop, allowed me to stay in their fallout shelter, which is awesome. Uh, and we actually have a studio audience. Everyone say, say hi, Gigaloop. Wave and say, hello, hi, NSFW. There you go. Uh, so, uh, Justin, what are we up to today? What's going on here? Well, Brian, first and foremost, we're going to take care of a little business with you and Naka, but we'll get to that in a second. Coming up, we have a little game called Butt Cuba, which we haven't played in quite a little while. We'll explain all the rules to that coming up. And, Brian, I don't know if you've noticed this, but uh, the world is it's in turmoil, okay? You know, there's a lot yeah. of unrest out there. People are flipping over cars and, and eating pizza in Wisconsin. It Wait, you're, talking, way. you're talking about the block parties, right? Egypt just had that big block party. Yes, yes. They had a block party and then someone in Libya flipped the couch and then an indoor pool on top of the couch that they flipped. Um, <laughs> and it was pretty yes. wild. Uh, uh, needless to say, uh, we, we have some problems of our own. Here, Brian, in this little country, I don't know if you've heard of it, we like to call the Internet. And we're going to hash that out a little later. But first things first, Brian, you're at NACA. And NACA is all about a bunch of kids who have discretionary budgets for their colleges trying to find entertainers to book at their schools for the upcoming year. But also, yeah, I mean, yeah. there's all this competition horse nonsense, yeah, right? Well, and first of all, I gotta explain to everyone, like, like people, people don't realize, like, they see me as podcasting, doing scam school and NSFW and frame rate. Uh, between you and me, not exactly paying all the bills. So my day job is still Drug to tour theory. all over the country doing my live stage shows. And of course, colleges are my number one place that I get booked. So they have this giant convention called NACA, where they, uh, and by the Say way, Say it right or don't say it at all. 
they uh, they have this thing where I have to go and explain what my show is about to college students who are at part of their student activities boards, and they decide what events to come to campus. By the way, no lie, if you want me to come to your hometown, call the local student activities board and tell them about me and the show and point them to the demo reel so I could come out. But here's what they're doing this year. And I, I, it was almost unfair because they're all like, you know how, how we're kind of on the cutting edge of things and then behind the curve, you know, eventually your grandmother gets a fun, uh, Facebook page or something. In this case, this year they're like, oh, well, there's something called the Twitter and we should, we should have people tweet out things about NACA with hashtag NACA 2011. So you can talk about like, oh, well, we had so-and-so the juggler, and he sure did juggle them paintball guns, and it was real neat. Hashtag so, NACA 2011. So, so it seems like what they've done is set up a really kind of egalitarian system for which the populace can generally show other people who are in similar, similar situations people of value, right? Yes. Like fairly yes. and honestly? Right, yeah, sure. Or they basically have left themselves wide open to NSFW show shenanigans. And the <laughs> moment I heard this, I thought, oh my gosh, you guys, you're not serious. You're not really just leaving this wide open. And, and sure enough, they are. They're encouraging everybody to tweet out stuff that they're seeing and doing while at the conference with hashtag NACA2011 on there. So uh, right now, for example, right now, the results, if you do a search on Twitter for NACA2011, you have the comedian Steve Hofstetter is one of the top tweets there that, uh, that shows up as the most retweeted. You have people saying, oh, so <laughs> glad my friend is performing tonight, NACA 2011, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, look, let's crush this and cheat for the next hour, for the duration <laughs> of the show. Let's, uh, first of all, you get the top tweet spot by being retweeted the most. So what I want to see is tall tales. You described it as Paul Bunyan-esque tall tales of what you just saw Brian Brush would do here at NACA 2011 exactly. by saying, uh, for example, uh, you know, wow, Brian Brush would just levitate a unicorn at NACA 2011. And uh, of course, photoshops would be highly encouraged. Uh, what, what, what else you got, Justin? You got a, any suggestions for this one? Well, again, like you said, you want to go big here, folks. Don't don't think inside the box. You want to go tall tale like that one time that Pecos Bill pants Paul Bunyan. Like you want to you want to really explode this. So so I would say, uh, remember that. Uh, Omg, I just watched Brian Brushwood eat an entire alligator. At <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> There's, there's one photo that they're retweeting re repeatedly there in the chat room, uh, which appears to be me dressed in white robes emerging from some kind of cave where a boulder's been rolled aside. I have no idea what that's about, but I'm sure whatever <laughs> feat they're referring to must have been very impressive because otherwise they wouldn't put it in this context. But uh, here's what we want to see. We want to see that thing explode already just in the time since I've said that uh, there's already 50 new tweets on it and the top tweet is about to be replaced. So we'll get back to that later on. You guys go absolutely nuts. Uh, let's make that happen. But what, what are we going to do right now, Justin? Brian, we like to play a little game called Buck Cuba. Remember Buck Cuba? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we didn't call it Butt Cuba. We used to call it Lost in Translation. But then, but then, far and away, the best one was and then, the and one. Then, where and then we were sued by Sofia Coppola, and, <laughs> and she 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 came up and she sick her we older were brother served. on us. We were yeah. served by Christopher Coppola. We were the Coppola family. They ride deep, and that's actually what they all have tattoos of that on their upper back. Coppola <laughs> fam. We ride deep. Yes. Uh, so anyway, uh, here's the, uh, Tom, you were on when we originally played uh, Butt Cuba, right? Or what we call it. Yeah, I was there for the Butt Cuba engendering part yes, of that game. Yes, exactly. When, when our butt got cuba as I like to say to my friends. Yeah, right, as, as the kids say. Uh, so here's the deal. What they do? Uh, I went out on the playground the other day, and they were like, my, well, butt my Cuba. <laughs> my butt just got cuba that's All right, exactly well, let's not do those tweets right now if it just got flashed up on the screen. Let's avoid, and I don't even want to say it for the audio listeners, but let's just All right, can we to. just keep on going? Let's I like go. this one. Brian Brushwood just resurrected Tupac to record a new album, NACA 2011. That's perfect. That's exactly the kind of stuff we want right there. Brian Brushwood resurrected Tupac yeah. let's for see, a new let's album. Let's see if you can do that, Steve Homesteader. <laughs> Um, uh, all, right. all right. So here's the deal. Buck Cuba, here's the game, folks. We all love the YouTube. It's a fantastic place for which we can spend all sorts of amounts of time. However, 
They had a little thing called a closed captioning feature in which they use their Google voice algorithm to just randomly take the words that are being spoken in the videos and put them into little captions. Unfortunately, the technology is not caught up to their, you know, the, how far they've thrown their hat over the wall, and you get some really, really, really hilariously jumbled captions. So what we've done is that a lot of our chat realm fans, and of course you can follow us at Justin R. Young or at Schwood throughout the week when we send out these little uh, fun mini games throughout the week, they've uh, brought us back a bunch of very, very popular clips that we are now going to play the game of Butt Cuba with Brian and Tom, and they're going to see how long it takes them to get these very popular clubs based only on their YouTube translation. Bring it. Bring it. Let's go. All right. Who's first? So, so here's the deal. Uh, Tom, Brian, you yes. have to decide who goes first. So uh, I, I need uh, a Jammer B if you can give me a, uh, a split screen there so I can see the both of them and I can judge for myself maybe like uh, the first ever paper, rock, scissors over, oh, okay. uh, over NSFW. On certainly on Twit, right? Yes. No one has ever done paper, rock, scissors. Uh, this, just in, uh, yeah. this just came in. Uh, apparently, Brian Brushwood just contorted himself into a penguin and recited the Gettysburg Address right here in NAC in 2011. Uh, I love news. it when you do that. That's, that's, that's uh, yeah, no, it was really touching when you did that at your wedding, by the way. I really <laughs> tried. Not I a dry eye. Uh, all right, go ahead. Uh, so let me get the, the, the double screen there. I'm watching. Well, uh, is on my mark, gentlemen. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All right. Well, rock beats scissors. Uh, Brian throws rock. Tomas throws scissors. We're going to end it right there. Brian, you have uh, a selection as, as we look at Brian parting the Red Sea. <laughs> that, was, that was a heck of a moment there at back in 2011 when I yeah. did part the Red Sea. Uh, it was a very big deal. I was very excited about that. Yeah, and touching when you did it at Justin's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right, uh, here we Justin. go. Uh, uh, Brian, you have your choice of three categories. Sad state of affairs, debate amongst peers, and culture. Oh, I've got to go with debate amongst peers, something I'm all too familiar with. Okay, so here we go. This is called debate amongst peers. I will now read. Uh, oh, uh, also, uh, Tom, since you uh, you are on defense here, what happens is you get to uh, you get to answer it should Brian guess incorrectly, but you okay. also get to All choose right. what uh, impression or inflection I read this uh, this scripted. Okay. So Got you it. can so, uh, Southern lawyer, uh, a nineteen twenties yeah. oil baron. Oh, so you need that. You need that from me now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, a nineteen. Uh, 50s era British aristocrat. Okay. <laughs> Do they still have aristocrats in the 50s? Yeah, they're all dying out by then, but they're, you know, oh. they're really old. <laughs> but of course, but of course, Brassford. <laughs> all right, here we go. Hold on, I, I wish you guys, I wish the audio people could see the face that you have to adopt in order to make this voice. <laughs> it's as though you hit like, Five G's and your jowls are being pinned back to your earlobes. Please, quiet. The men are talking. Got it. Go for it. I represent the rights to game apart. The more of a dollar today and for delivery to some of the jobs. Women can afford to take care of the children. Be the job broker, a budget deal. I mean, talk about a roof over your head. Food on the table, the money in your pocket. It is politics as usual. Panasonic. And it is born out of race, to the level that it did not mean that they cannot afford to pay their rent. They're being laid off now. Let us speak. But it can take up, without a doubt, visit someone. But still took solace and let us know, did you? God is to let, okay, let's talk about the issue that cancer is right. As a karate <laughs> expert, I would not talk about the one up here. Because I want children to afford a new anyway. There is no way to go. Once again, iPad. You say... <laughs> uh, okay, first of all, I'm going to say that of all the voices that Tom could have asked you to do, he may have picked the worst because your inflection pretty much morphed into the guy who actually said this. Because I nailed this one pretty early on. But if I'm not mistaken, this is a fellow with an epic beard. This is the guy who said, the rent is too damn high. That's right.
<laughs> oh, there we go. All right. It is indeed Jimmy McMillan uh, with, with the rent is too damn high party. So, uh, so there we go. And we will move on now. Tom. Do I, re do I retain control of the board? Because I'm going to no, run you this thing. You don't. Yeah, you no, don't seriously. Control. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Now, now it's not it's make Tom's. it, take it. It is not make it, nope. take it. Tom, you now have a choice amongst two, and you need to get this to stay alive. You have either a sad state of affairs or culture. Uh, sad state of affairs. Okay, Brian, uh, this is uh, three people in total, so give me uh, three voices. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one will be a, uh, a gruff plumber who lives in the Bronx. <laughs> okay. Uh, another will be um, C-3PO. <laughs> and the last one will be... The last one only has one line, or two lines. Uh, uh, that'll be the gumshoe voice, then. Okay. All right. Uh, Tom, you can guess at any time. Okay. No, wait. Make him finish. Make him finish, Tom. I could have guessed early, and I didn't. <laughs> Make him do the whole thing. Wait, right, right, no, uh, at, at any time. I get it. At any time. Yeah. Uh, sad state of affairs, and here we go. Gems it on film is asleep, and I don't know inside their apartment on Webster Drive when... What was the second one? <laughs> C-3PO. Oh. I was okay at Marathon 88 from here out in the projects. <laughs> Johnson says our attacker used a garbage can to climb under the UN selection of the nasty RS when they leave and he got into the bed where there is at the... Right. He Dragon Ball my profound. Johnson <laughs> struggled with our attacker, knocking ever items in her bed, red plasma gothic brillas or slester grain to hand her help. Widely, obviously, we have a greatness in Lincoln Park is planning on windows and smacking of people that are trying to break in. I'm sorry to decide the kids have to live in antidote and take a break in a body IVF. The attack was up. We out the upstairs window, but he didn't leave something behind. <laughs> Obligated three sides electing a president out of your photo. You already done <laughs> filet. A crime scene investigator photographed and dusted for prints on the list of a garbage can in the window pane in lives. Dotson says he never seen the purple for the consensus warning to whoever is responsible. You don't have to accommodate, confessed. He didn't look at what you wee wee got back to you. I mean to know, Net, so you could write yourself what what, old boy? <laughs> okay, look, that's got to be enough. You've got to have this one now. You've got to. Yeah, I had it yeah. Like in the no, I do, I do. I just, I couldn't stop listening, you know? It was like, uh, it was, it was too enjoyable. To, uh, to quit, but obviously, hide your wife, hide your kids, it's a bed intruder, there's a rapist in Lincoln Park. Uh, actually, it was Ronald Reagan's, uh, and, and they saw God after the Challenger exploded. Oh, my God! Just kidding. No, it was the bed intruder. It was oh, the Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here we go. That's right. Correct the moon. <laughs> uh, that's much better. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, Ralph, right, Reagan, he took, a, he took a little detour on that speech. No one really it's remembers. It's similar to that speech, though. You're absolutely start, correct. Start screaming about Reagan. <laughs> um, all right, so here we go. Uh, Brian, I'll tell you what. We're going we're gonna, to uh, make this one sudden death. So you guys are going to have to um, uh, chime in whenever either right. of you know it. Okay, uh, this, is, this is a just, uh, Brian, this is Justin's way of saying uh, I can't stand reading that long again. <laughs> yes, which means you and I should enter a pact to uncomfortably wait until he finishes the whole thing because it's much more important that Justin flounder as he reads the whole thing than for you and I to actually compete and win. I, I agree. Well, all right. Then you guys need to also decide on what the voice impression or inflection is going to be. Just one voice? One, yeah, one uh, voice. That's can, it. can you do it as Scooby-Doo? Uh, I can. I can try. 
<laughs> or Scrappy. Scooby or Scrappy? I, uh, I, I mean, uh, this no, is really shaggy, only going to lead to me. It's, it's got to be Shaggy. Give us Shaggy. Like shaggy. Wow. All right. Good. Okay. Like the U.S. underworld map, why do you think this sense? I personally believe that the estimate is here I'm able to do so. Next summer, people out there in the shame of a door. I was at it Saturdays that education like such a thing. South Africa, hearing that Iraq everywhere in the sense that hands. I believe that they had said that. Our education over here. That you have said how the year. Oh, and oh, oh, it oh, helps oh, clapping, clapping, clapping. I'm in. I got it. I got it. I got this one. I got this one. Hey, remember when I promised that I'd let him go the whole time? That was a ruse, Merritt. You got sucked. <laughs> you know, you know what? Even if it was a ruse, I have no idea other than, like, maybe it was Muammar Gaddafi. But I, I, no, I really no, I got this one. I got this one. This is when Shaggy was up for uh, Miss Teen South Carolina. Am I correct? Uh, false. It was when Shaggy was actually Miss South Carolina and oh, going okay. for Miss Teen USA. Whatever. You, you know, know what I'm Brushwood. talking about. This is you win. Correct Mundo. So there we go. This is the greatest game ever. I could play this, no lie, all day long. Mainly just to listen to Justin try to read absolute <laughs> gibberish in incredibly lame <laughs> versions of popular accents. Yeah. The greatest innovation of this game is the pick an accent part, right? Because it's a ridiculous speech in the first place because it's viral video. Second, it's totally unintelligible because of the horrible voice to speech or the speech to text translation. And then you have that other layer on top, gold. Well, well, there we go. Maybe we'll have to come back and do a, a longer version of this game because we definitely got a lot of them. But uh, we are jam-packed for today. So, unfortunately, we'll have to leave them wanting more. And uh, Butt Cube is closed. Brian, today you are the Butt Cuba champion. Woo! Oh, you're not going to play I'm the champion? You're not going to play I'm the champion of this lame-ass podcast game? Okay, hold on. Wait. Yeah, here we go. And I'm going to stand up and belly clap for myself. Because that's how awesome it is to finally win a game. I, I take off my hat to you, <laughs> Brian. And put on a different hat. <laughs> I really have no idea how to play it cool for the visual joke, but also explain it to the audio listeners that Tom's put on 40 hats since he's been he's, on. Every time the camera cuts to him, he's worn a different hat. It's been amazing, without a doubt. Hey, uh, meanwhile... Meanwhile, this just in, somebody just saw a baby monkey riding on Brian Brushwood's back in NACA 2011. <laughs> and someone else baby shows uh, Brian parting the Red Sea. And another one shows me fighting a demon dressed as Superman. Like, I'm dressed as Superman. Uh, let me just remind everyone that nobody at NACA knows who Atchwood is. So it's got to be Brian Brushwood. Make sure you put Brian Brushwood in. Make oh, sure to way, retweet each other. Uh, ladies and gentlemen... Brian, you are the top tweet at NACA 2011. Woo! Well, that was a fast win. I like that. So now, like now, that. now, what we're doing is putting distance between you and Steve Hassenpfeffer. We gotta really, we gotta, we gotta really put a lot of distance between we you and Mr. Horse Feathers. Uh, this is, you know what? This just in from T and Atheist. Uh, <laughs> Wood just found the lost city of Atlantis at NACA 2011. Follow the clues, gumshoes. <laughs> Apparently it was that simple. That's all I had to do. Well, you want to know what, Brian? When I'm following the clues, there's really only one way that I like to compile all my adventures. How's that? Uh, the discarded clothes of the enemies for which I've murdered. I, I'm... I'm sorry, it's not like you just confessed to a murder and we're talking about their clothing, but I'm Well, uh, yeah, well, concerned. I mean, because usually you're on crazy adventures and you're out there and there's like mer people trying to get all up in your business and you just stab them in the heart with a trident and then you just kind of take their clothing so you can keep it in your house and remember that fun time. I, uh, this, this really sounds like something you should not admit to in public at all. 
You ever like? You ever tried to find some sort of glowing emerald under a sunken city that was taken out by you know ages past, and you swim under there, and then you wind up making out with some mermaid, but then her boyfriend comes up, and you gotta punch him with brass knuckles that you bought at a haunted gypsy store. Uh, oh, this is I'm a this pretend. is a Florida like, thing. <laughs> yes, um, yes, yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah, this is no, this is a re that's why we're not getting it, Brian. It's a regional thing. Oh, oh. okay. Well, anyway, uh, you can just check it out on my Squarespace, mermurder.squarespace.com. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, and that's why I got... What, what is on? Does it, you, now, is it, is it illegal to kill mer people? Is that legal? Oh, uh, I don't know. What, you wearing a wire, Brushwood? <laughs> All of a sudden? <laughs> you, a, you a cop? Because you got to tell me if you're a cop. Because, <laughs> you know, you, you have to tell me, if you're, uh, especially if you're an aqua cop. If you're an aqua cop, you have to tell me double. And you also have to tell me in the face. Are you Aquaman? Because you if you're Aquaman, you know you have to tell me. You have to, <laughs> you have to tell, you have to tell me your orange scaled shirt <laughs> underneath. So anyway, you can so, go to mermurder.squarespace.com and you can see all these pictures I have. Uh, of all sorts of little cop costumes. You can go to mermurder.squarespace.com and you can see all these pictures I have of all sorts of little conch shells and, you know, uh, yeah, halter tops from people I murdered that were mer people and um, also a glowing emerald. Now, I'm going to pretend that that mer people is your word for brine shrimp, or as we like to call them, sea monkeys. These harmless little creatures. Because I would hate to think that you were. All right, were, you know, all right, all right, all right. Mer Americans. You don't have to call them. But yeah, sea what, what's really sad uh, is that yeah. it's actually his word for Merv Griffin. <laughs> yes. Merv, Merv murder. Merv murder is not my site. Mervmurder.squarespace.com is I am not affiliated with, and I really take offense to that. That's all right, hold on. Uh, this just in. I actually just got a tweet. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the brakes on our NACA game. Apparently, I don't know who sent this in, but somebody says, "Brad, I don't want to be a downer on you or anything, but you got to lay off." Apparently, people are getting pissed. So we're we're putting the brakes on NACA. Apparently, everyone knows that I did amazing things. All right, everybody, stop on the NACA thing. And instead, let's talk about your fabulous site on Squarespace. Why would you go with Squarespace? There's so many other options. You could use Notepad to program it. You know, yeah, type in your HTML tediously by yourself. Yeah, uh, yeah, I could do that if I was some sort of mongoloid who had a fourth of my brain cut out in some sort of bizarre behavioral experiment. Yeah, I could do that. Or I could just get on Squarespace, which makes all my websites, like mermurder.squarespace.com, look really pretty and really nice. I don't even know a lot of CSS, Brian. I'm in the ocean laying justice down upon a bunch of rowdy heathens under the waves. I don't got time to have my nose in a CSS book, <laughs> learning about the tables and cascading sheets and whatnot. F that noise. Hit up squarespace.com. Be like me. Get a really awesome website. You can format it in any kind of thing you want. You want pictures and stuff. You can make, make your pictures. You want a blog? It'll do a blog for you. Best thing, when everybody comes all to your site and they're like, oh my God, is that really a piece of seaweed that you got from the bottom of the ocean slash on some girl's boob? I'll be like, yeah, it totally is. And it's never going to crash, neither, because I'm on Squarespace, which load balances all their traffic, make sure that you never go down. Well, here's the important thing, right? Okay, I get that you like Squarespace, right? <clears throat> and maybe you're yeah. even suggesting that other people should sign up for Squarespace. But, like, is there a way that somehow, you know, we could take care of you and me, you know? Get a, get a little bit oh. of that innocent W action, right? What do exactly. you got? Exactly. You're saying a little kickback. How about you guys go ahead on over to squarespace.com slash NSFW. Again, that is squarespace.com slash NSFW. And you're going to go ahead and get that, baby. Right there. You're going to get your Squarespace account. You're going to get 14 days for free on the to free try it out. tips. Most on importantly, who are you making look good? Who are you making look good? Uh, this guy. Because when apparently everyone's annoyed that everyone's tweeting out about what I'm doing at NACA, I'm going to need the cash that you can provide by signing up at squarespace.com slash NSFW. Okay, uh, ad read is done, and we have another bit that we're going to get to, but hold on. Let's go ahead and break the fourth wall real quick and find out how much trouble you're in for screwing the NACA face. Uh, listen, as long as we're breaking the fourth wall, let me just say that if I could, I would bolt out the door right now and go figure out who I have to apologize to right this minute over at NACA because apparently uh, we're annoying the crap out of people, which is too bad because somebody just tweeted out this fabulous image of Brian Brushwood eating an alligator at NACA, <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to put this right here so that we can see it on the other camera here. But this is a fantastic actual photo of when I ate an alligator over at NACA. <laughs> that's, 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 well, um, maybe, maybe we should make a sorry site on Squarespace. 
Brian uh, Sarge. Right that's Squarespace.com. Uh, I, I hey, think listen, that's a great we're, idea. We're like we're looking to have a good time, and we apologize for completely subverting your system. <laughs> Let's say nice things that maybe uh, maybe embellish a little bit on my talents. And uh, <laughs> wow, this is how effective you guys are. Is I instantly regret that decision. Like I was just like, well, I'm a nobody at this little old conference. Maybe I can make up a little bit of noise and people can say something on the Twitters about me. And then I'm like, and now I'm a pariah because I broke all of Twitter. Well, wait, the wait a minute. How are you a pariah? Who is telling you like there be? Uh, where are you hearing the message from? Is there some it official? It came from or? an anonymous text message that just I have no idea who even said this but all it's it's a random phone number and it just says uh, but you should tell I think you should give that random phone number out on the internet <laughs> well you, I'll give you the first three numbers it's 570 someone from the 570 area is can we the call them back can we call them back where, and wait a minute, 570 though? is that where Steve Hofstetter lives okay no hold on right, first of all Steve Hofstetter whoa, I'm the whoa, one who whoa, hold on is that this, where shave horse feathers lives <laughs> Would you? I'm the one who helped out Steve write those those one of those top tweets. All right, so oh, uh, really? it's, all, right, all right, listen, and let's all be a little bit nicer to salve horseradish. <laughs> what? Calm it down, Mr. Horse. What are you talking about, Mr. Horse Rooters? Is he's a nice guy? I'm sure. I'm sure, he's really good. <laughs> he's a very very good at the comedy. All right, all right, all right. Uh, whoa, and then my phone uh, just fell down. But the important thing is, uh, 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 look, can we, can we get past, like, my impending no. doom? No, we can't. No, we can't. Maybe poisoning we have to the solve well this problem. Brian, Brian, I'm calling an audible right now. So we have this whole bit written up. No, the sponsor Squarespace, me? Justin. What was that? Just, yeah, it's not audible. Stop calling oh. audible. <laughs> You're not allowed to call those. Okay, then I'm not calling a, a, an Audible or a Mail Route or a Ford Focus. I am calling <laughs> uh, a Squarespace right now. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Squarespace.com change of plans. <laughs> so we're so gonna do a bit. We're gonna like make fun of all the revolutions in the Middle East and Wisconsin and do a fun bit about things we were upset with on the internet. But I think that now we need to dedicate the rest of the show to making things right with Brian and NACA. We need to set up a site. We need to, we need to make sure that everybody at NACA knows it wasn't Brian's fault. We did it completely on our own. And we just really love Brian Brushwood that much, which by the way, makes him a really bookable talent. At a very <laughs> reasonable price. Maybe, maybe some people should make some Squarespace websites where they collect images that they had already Photoshopped. Because now I already got the first one from, uh, from Rabbit Badger saying that he had an image that he wanted to do, but he couldn't do it. Uh, and you know what? Here is the person who sent me that tweet or that text. I'm just going to hit speaker and get him on the phone. Hey, Kyle, you're on the hey, air. Brian? Yes. Um, um, am I on speakerphone? Yeah, you are, because we're transmitting live. And uh, who is this? It's your agent, Bridget. Oh, well, in that case, Bridget, then I'm going to <laughs> tell you that we're live. And that I will chat with you about this when we're off the air, as I try to reel in the demon hordes of the internet to stop them, because all I told them, just spread the word, Bridget, if you would, that I asked them to say some impressive things that I did at NACA, and uh, uh, apparently they, they ran with that. And you got it. You got it. So I will chat with you later. <laughs> Am I on speakerphone? <laughs> Brian, that was a very I know Brian tone of voice, wasn't it? Justin? That was. That, that was, was that was uh, like a scene from Brian's personal entourage. <laughs> oh my god. Series. It was like it was like Brian's been throwing Molotov cocktails off the top of a roof. And one of Brian's friends are like, you're burning all the cars up. Please stop doing that. And Brian's like, like, whoa, hold on. Uh, let me see if I can hear you talk while I throw more bombs. Wow, no, keep talking. Keep talking. This is really awesome. I can kind of concentrate on both things. Wow. Uh, well, then that's what, uh, that, uh, well, there's that then, isn't there? I don't even know where to go with we this. Need, you we need to figure out a way to make this right. 
No, I called a Squarespace.com presents change of plan. <laughs> <laughs> It's not an audible, Brian. Okay, gotcha. I, you call the Squarespace.com presents change of plans. So you know, so why, you know why that works so well, Justin? Why? Because if your blog has a change of plans, it's not only easy to update, but it can handle all the traffic to get people who are angry over what you've done. Absolutely. If only the Nagatop tweets had a Squarespace, maybe they wouldn't have such a finger up their bum about us playing a little fun Twitter game. Well, so, okay, so seriously, what do you do? Have you ever, now, and, and, and I mean, I guess we're derailing the whole show. Tom, seriously, you've had a number of employers. I don't really have employers. You know, I go from show to show and I perform for them, but there are certain people that I have to keep happy. And one of them is certainly the people over at this <laughs> conference that I'm attending. Uh, and so with that being in mind, <laughs> with, with, with that being in mind, how do you, how do you clean this up? Well, you got to first assess what the real damage is, okay? Like, what actually, who is actually mad? So, so you got a call from your agent saying, hey, cutting this down. It could be some mucky muck at the top who just happened to notice and was like, what's going on? Can you get him to stop? And it's really not that big a deal. So you find the source and you go to them and say, hey, we're just having fun. You try to explain it. The, you know, the other tactic you could take is, do you want this not to happen to you? Then book me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do you understand the power I wield? I am not. Uh, oh, see, and this is what this is what kills me, right? It's like it's like uh, uh, everybody is on purpose, you know, telling everybody to tweet. This is I have too loud of a megaphone because like everyone else is like, you're like, oh, I put a bunch of tweets up and people saw my tweets and that's great. And then I'm like, oh, I want to play that game too, and I'm like. Hey guys, put some tweets up, and then the thunderstorm hits. All and right, then no, number one, like I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what this is. This is there's a bunch of people at NACA. Obviously, you know the pressure that comes with NACA. If you're if you're a college performer, you make a, a large amount of your living on it. That they see an opportunity. Hey, this is I'm plugged into social media. I have a lot of friends that that do stuff like this. I'm around glad handing with everybody. This is a chance for me to kind of uh, poke my head out of the clouds a little bit and maybe get a little bit of the, the, the center stage. And then all of a sudden you roll in in a, in a 1950s muscle car and you just <laughs> pull around and blow your exhaust right in their face and you pick up their girlfriends and you ride off to the soda <laughs> jerk. <laughs> but that didn't, oh my gosh, this is, uh, wow. So here's uh, what okay, we need so to do. We need to, we need to have a page saying, Hey, other performers at NACA, we're sorry that we blew away your pathetically small Twitter following. Okay, stop in, that. Stop that. Hour. Stop that. Well, no, no, wait a minute. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the top tweet right now is 10 retweets. This is a small pond. You, you don't know your own strength. You, exactly. you haven't even exactly. begun to flex your muscle here. So really, if the chat room and everybody listening plays along and says, hey, you know what? We'll all stop. We'll all pull back. We know Brian's freaked out. We don't want to get him in trouble. That will actually go even farther to help your case because you could say, look, yeah, we were just having fun. Nothing really horrible got out there. I mean, what harm was really done? Maybe for less than an hour, some people couldn't find the real NACA tweets. And I, and you show, like, I was able to, to you know, and turn the faucet off. and Everything is back to normal now. It's all good. Uh, no, wait, hold on. Tom, Tom how many retweets uh, was, was the top tweet out before? The, the last one I saw was just 10. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Here we go. We're sorry, NACA. Squarespace.com. <laughs> See? 14 day free trial. <laughs> See? Uh, Brian, I, I can already feel things coming back together. You know? I, I feel, you know, you're going to call your agent. Maybe we should use something nice for your agent. Should we, should we make a little, uh, Brian's really sorry? Are you fervently texting trying to make this right while the camera's not on you? Uh, I, I may have, have uh, been looking at a text or two, trying to figure out how to manage things. Uh, although I got to tell you, I love Tom's uh, version of how things are going, and I certainly hope that's that's what we decide the final narrative is. But uh, I prefer the term narrative. Trademark. Right. <gasps> Uh, uh, Brian, all right, no, no, do me a favor. Bring, bring me inside, inside what you're thinking right now, because you're, you're obviously not on a full meltdown, but you're in, in pre-meltdown state right now. 
Uh, uh, yes. Well, uh, yes. Um, yes. Uh, I am. I am not here right now. I am somewhere else trying to figure out how to craft an apology. And what's funny is like I'm going back right now in the TiVo, and I was just like, did did I say let's ruin things? Did I say let's tear things up? I don't think. No, 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 no. You absolutely did not. You didn't. You never incited any kind of violence. You only said like <laughs> post some crazy stuff. Post some like. <laughs> Wild things that are happening, you know, exaggerate. That's the worst that you did. Well, I, I don't know. I, no, you, you never said, hey, someone go punch Steve or Derv's in the face. No, you never okay, said that. okay. <laughs> Uh, look, uh, I mean, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Look, uh, yeah, well, what if, what if we made, what if we made the top tweet, you apologizing for ruining the top tweets? No, I think that's a bad, I think, I think doing anything more for a while would be a bad <laughs> idea is what I think. Just then just, then just, all right. But what about, what about the, I'm sorry website? Is the, I'm sorry website good? I, I think any more tweets from what appears to be, cause that, the, here's the problem. Here's the problem. The problem is they think that, that we're trying to hack something or break something. And that's not what we're doing at all. It's just like, you know, Hey, they got this tag. Uh, well, let's, you know, let's, let's, you know, let's join the party and make some noise. And, uh, uh, uh apparently we're too loud. Our neighbors have asked us to do, turn the volume <laughs> down. So maybe we should, Turn the volume down. That's exactly that's exactly the right metaphor, which is you're having a party, you're having a good time, you don't realize how loud you are. Somebody knocks on the door, they're upset because they're trying to sleep. You you know, and so you it's exactly that situation where you gotta be like, Hey, I'm really sorry, we didn't realize how loud we were being and you gotta hope that the other person has partied at some point and understands like, Yeah, yeah, I know. It just can you can you keep it down? And if we keep it down from now on, it's all good. Yeah, well, I, I think the right, can, I, can I just play devil's advocate here real quick? Okay, okay go on, um, go on. Because and looking at some of the other NACA performers, like they, they've all encouraged their fans online that aren't at NACA to tweet about NACA. Like no one that I've seen, and looking at some of the links that have come through in the chat room, none of them are are like, hey, okay, folks, we got to keep it honest. We're keeping it fair. If you're not at NACA, don't tweet. I swear to God, you better not tweet or I'll come into your house and I'll punch you in the belly. No one said that. So, really, we were just having, yeah, you were just kind of flexing your muscle and obviously things got a little bit out of hand. You know what you should do? You should just have a big poster with Brian like this and it just says, apparently I party too hard. All right, well, the, okay, so here's the only thing, is that the perception is, is that this was an orchestrated attack, and it wasn't pre-planned to screw things up, and I guess, uh, I guess they're displaying the tweet somewhere, and it looked like an interruption <laughs> to other things going on. Oh, which, which, like one this, time is the, this is the gadget party syndrome. Yes! <laughs> She's been through this. <laughs> but this is, but the difference... <sighs> You mean like, not... like, 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 that, like that one time at the GDGD party last year when uh, I trashed the Windows 7 phone jokingly and it got retweeted all over the board while Microsoft was standing right next to it and then you encouraged people to put a gigantic 8 equals 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 D across the screen? I did not. I did not at all. I said, I said, keep it appropriate and, uh, and, uh, uh, appropriately I, I, I huge. What's that? I said appropriately huge. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, look, I mean, I, 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 I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's like I'm in, I'm in full on meltdown mode, where it's just like no! people think, and I wanted no. to. What do you no. think the people in Libya right now feel this way? I, I hesitate to liken this situation to the history being made in the Middle East. <laughs> Unless really, you really to, I just wanted like, to make make some perspective. So that you would feel bad about something else for a second. Oh, oh. Uh, well, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to oh, say. Oh, yeah, or, by the way, Brian, uh, us making light of the history making events in Libya was going to be our bit before the Squarespace.com presents <laughs> change of direction. <laughs> By the way, kudos to Jammer B for putting up the lower third that says Squarespace every time. Every time that Every happens. time. He hasn't missed a beat. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what to say or do. Uh, 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 Rabbit Badger of... has a solution. We can just uh, maybe put out there that we apologize. What we meant was the Brian Brushwood who drives NASCAR. 
in 2011. We, we were supporting that know. Brian Brushwood. The Brian Brushwood uh, in the Oreo car, who races in NASCAR. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll tell you one thing I am seeing on the tweet stream right now is people people trying to make this something against uh, uh, Naga. Do not, do not, do not. <laughs> Hold on. It's Apparently you're trending. You're a trending topic. <laughs> oh, my God. And there I am uh, holding a sign in a, in, a, in a Photoshop here. Oh, my gosh. I, don't, I, I must never ask the fans to do anything to help my career. No, oh, stop That's it, Brian. Ever work. Listen, uh, listen. Okay, here's what I'm trying to say now. <clears throat> uh, as of now, it becomes really, really important that if you want Brian to have a career, that you personally try to get him booked at your college or university by contacting student <laughs> activities and letting him know how good the show is and how little mention of Twitter he does during it. I think that's the only way to salvage it now. Uh, yeah, no, number one, of course, everybody go out, as you should always be, but especially right now, make sure that you talk to the people at your college. If you don't know who those people are, uh, just walk down to your student union and say who books stuff, and they'll point you in the right direction. Make sure you get pride in your college. Um, right, wait, well, are you here's really the trending? Thing. Uh, are you really uh, trending? Right, Hold on, wait. Do a can, can we point out, this is the power of NSFW while Tom drinks <laughs> in a random hat? Uh, that, that not only did we... Get into a little bit. Of, all, right, all right, I'm not gonna lie to you, Brian. Things got a little sticky with the whole NACA thing. But while we're <laughs> trying to work our way out yeah. of the NACA <laughs> thing, uh, you're now a trending topic in the United States. <laughs> in the, in what? And you cannot buy that kind of publicity. Well, actually, Wait, you can. You, you could be a topic. promoted tweet, but it's expensive. Oh my God. All right, well, look, here's the important. That, yeah. here, uh, look, let's look. I'll deal with it. How we're going to deal with it? The point is, this is supposed to be a comedy show. So let's get back to where we're not just all feeling bad for Brian. Uh, and Brian, who's, who's <laughs> Justin, who's were you feeling bad? No. And huddling and scratching in the corner. And let's not also make it a show where we laugh at Brian, who's scared. No, and huddling. we're not <laughs> laughing. We're not. Listen, we're supporting our friends. This is. We've always said that this show is about. You know, we wanted to feel like you're hanging with your friends and you're having a good time. Look at. <laughs> No way! I'm on the freaking trending topics list! I'm no. trying to tell you that! No! Yes. No! I'm a trending yes. topic on Twitter now? Yes! No! Does that make it better? I I don't know! I don't know! This is all messing with me! <laughs> this is all this is all messing with me! I don't I don't know what to what to say. Hello, Bart Simpson, Brian Brushwood. Are you <laughs> <laughs> what category was that in that Brian Brushwood suddenly became a trending topic? <laughs> Justin, do we uh, know what? Do I don't know. know what I don't know. I mean, I'm just I'm trying to follow along in the chat room. Oh, Jim United States. I'm a trending topic in the United States now. Yeah. 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 Which, well, by the way, uh, I Twitter suppose I have that consolation Canada. prize. <laughs> Uh, look, uh, yeah, you know what? Maybe, maybe we should, uh, I, uh, uh <laughs> can we call this, uh, this is the day I learned, uh, about playing with fire and playing with matches and how the chat realm is actually a flamethrower and how, uh, that, wow. Okay. So look, like, like, what are we going to do? What do you want to do for the rest of the episode then? If you're making an, a Squarespace.com. Justin, 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 I have a question. I have a question for Justin. Yes. Yes. Tomas, go ahead. Why are you belittling the plight of the people in Wisconsin? Uh, why? Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, they're out there and, and they're and they're protesting and and everyone's sending them pizzas. And I'm not saying that they shouldn't have pizzas, but you ever been to Wisconsin? Couldn't it be apple slices? Really? <laughs> I mean, they're just hanging out there. Everybody's in and their politicians are running away. What are they doing? Where are they gonna go? No, the correct answer is because they're not in Yemen. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brian Brushwood, you're a trending topic worldwide. Is it? No, worldwide now? Brian Brushwood's a trending topic worldwide? You're on the front page of Twitter. <laughs> no. I'm on yes. the front page of Twitter? Yes. <laughs> no. You've got to be kidding me. This is not, uh, I'm going to log out so I can see. Oh my goodness. Where, where is it? Oh, there I, it is. 
Uh, right up there with Space Jam, misspelled Libya, <laughs> all Malik, <laughs> Tatiana Marino, and Brian Brushwood. <laughs> I'm a worldwide trending topic. Please, everybody, document this so I have something to remember this this uh, horrific experiment gone awry. I promise never again to <laughs> try to use the. Well, <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, you know, it's a good thing this is really such a slow news week. You know, nothing's been going on that Brian Brunswick yes. becomes a trending topic for having a meltdown because he pissed off a bunch of third rate stand up comedians. Okay, all right, hold on, hold on. Stop that. Stop that. Don't, 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 don't. All right, look. Uh, worldwide, though, it's right next to Bart Simpson. <laughs> And yeah. Kelly oh, and yeah. Jason and Space Jam. And by the way, uh, you know, what was, what, how many retweets were on the top tweet for Naga before, Tom? What was, what uh, was sorry? Uh, ten. Uh, you know what, at this point, at, at the very least, if we go, the is there was still a price tag on that hat that you're wearing, Tom? Do you have a price tag on that hat? Oh, and this, this hat that I'm, yeah, there's a, uh, this is, you know, this is kind of the way the kids in Japan sometimes wear their hats out here. <laughs> um, going out and buying hats. Wow. Uh, so what I was going to say is, uh, look, as long as Brian Brushwood is a trending topic, might as well keep on putting some Brian Brushwood in there. <laughs> just minus the NACA. No NACA in there. Just just mention Brian Brushwood. In fact, take all those tall tales and put them out there so anybody, let's, you know what, maybe that's our thing. Maybe we, we didn't realize we used a nuclear arm for a small weapons fight. Maybe we got to take this thing global and drop all the naga stuff and just say all the amazing things Brian Brushwood does. But all right, just, all know. right, all right. Ego McEgo Tidden. Okay, really? hey, hold on. I'm trying to make I'm trying to make lemonades out of turds here. All right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's all talk about how great Brian is. Brian. Oh, oh God, 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 you just oh, I hate you so much, Justin Robert Young. How could you do oh, <laughs> God, chaos! <laughs> chaos. I'm just going to say, anybody listening to the audio version of this show needs to download the video version. Go to YouTube and watch the video, specifically Brian, in the last 10 minutes. If somebody doesn't make a GIF of that, that will be my Twitter avatar for the rest of time. Then I will be Well, you know, Justin, this is what fame does to you. I mean, if you, if you, look, at, look at Brian right now. Uh, you'll, you'll, I'm not blaming him. I'm not criticizing him. Uh, it's just, it's tough when you become a worldwide trending Twitter topic to deal with all of the new feelings and pressures that you're going to get. And that, and that's, that's what Brian's going through right now. And I think the smartest thing that he can do in this situation, uh, is to, to stay grounded, uh, yeah. to, to stay, stay true to himself and, yeah. and tomorrow, uh, go and anybody who says, "Hey, what happened with the NACA thing?" Say, "Look, I was a worldwide trending Twitter topic yesterday. <laughs> Do you want that kind of firepower for your event? Let's not yeah. worry about a little bit about a brief thirty-minute or less disruption to a NACA hashtag. Let's look at the bigger <laughs> picture, the worldwide, large as Earth picture. Do you see yourself in that? Uh, you, know, like, you can just be like, uh, yeah." You want to know what uh, what Muammar Gaddafi was doing last night? Desperately trying to not get murdered while he's getting ousted out of his country. You know who was a more important Twitter topic? Me, baby. <laughs> Me. <laughs> well, oh my God. Well, there's that now. <clears throat> uh, I guess I'm gonna click on on it. Uh, I've been I, I I've sat here. I've refreshed repeatedly to see whether or not it was for reals or not. But apparently, it is totally real right in there. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you outside of I'm definitely looking at a Photoshop of me holding up a giant elephant. Uh, I appear to be very strong on on the internet <laughs> as far as Twitter can tell. Uh, well, Justin. Brian, it looks like we're wrapping up uh, this episode of NSF. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Um, wow. Okay, well, there's that now. And that definitely happened. And look, I uh, I want you to know that it's been a delightful run for 11 years <laughs> as a, an award-winning college entertainer. Uh, it's been awesome. Uh, and I certainly hope that uh, perhaps there's a way to get booked. Perhaps people get motivated and get their student activities people to book me at their college. Uh, yeah, but, Brian, uh, well, where, where can people go to see your demo reel or get your contact uh, info? Uh, well, apparently they can go to Twitter.com on the front page as a trending <laughs> top. I don't Brian know. Brian. Have you heard of it? <laughs> Uh, but seriously, if you want to share people my demo reel so you can get me booked and keep me eating, that's my new that's my new slogan. Brian Brushwood, he makes you chuckle. Keep him eating by booking him at your college. Uh, it's at shwood.com, S-H-W-O-O-D.com, uh, and, uh, and just click on the demo reel link when you're there. Uh, well, well, there we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've learned a lot tonight on NSFW. <laughs> We've learned what Brian Brushwood looks like during a nervous meltdown. <laughs> we've, learned, we've learned that Tom's hat rack is about the size of a Buick. <laughs> we've also learned that we can pretty much get a topic trending anytime we want to, thanks to the chat realm on NSFW. And now that this battle station is fully up, we learned that Justin's a marble mouth moron. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank everybody for being part. It is not often that, I mean, this is for as haphazard of a show as this is put together, it is not often that we kind of just sort of take, the, take, take momentum in a certain direction. Uh, and I really appreciate the fact that in doing that, we were able to do something as awesome as get Brian trending on the front page of Twitter. So thank you all very, very much. And if you want more information on this afterward, uh, please go to the only place where we're going to be posting any information about this from here on out, which is uh, Justin R. Young on Twitter. So just follow that. <laughs> It's the only place. For all your Brian Brushwood information, make sure yeah. to subscribe to Justin R. Young on Twitter, right? Because, like, right now, I'm sure a bunch of people from NACA are going to download because, like, rumors going to go around, oh, what happened with the whole top tweet thing, and they're going to download this episode. The only place you can find in continuing information is, of course, twitter.com slash Justin R. Young, and follow, <laughs> follow that, yeah. Yeah, you can follow me on the front page of Twitter worldwide. <laughs> uh, Tom Merritt, where can people follow you? Uh, you can find me at TomMerritt.info. Uh, what? Really? Do you do like 17 million hours of stuff per week? TomMerritt.biz. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, host, uh, I host Tech News Today daily on the Twit Network. I do a show called Top 5 for Revision 3, but TomMerritt.com, .info, .biz, that that's where it's all collected. If you want to see all the things I do, I don't. I don't have a picture of my hat collection up there yet, though. <laughs> I'm sure that they'll be up at TomMerritsHats.Squarespace.com any minute yeah. now. Uh, all right, look, uh, I think we're going to wrap up this episode of NSFW for um, uh, apparently we've moved from comedy programming into reality television. We hope you enjoy the transition. Uh, look for us worldwide on the Twitters. And me. Space Jam and me. Space Jam. I don't even know who Alexander and Kim Kibra Gibbum is. See you next Tuesday. I'm gonna die in the fire. A fire, fire everybody! everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, that's a lot of hats. <laughs> uh, can I just point out that in addition to all the other stuff that's been going on, I'm getting texts from my wife calling me a, a pretty much a sissy. <laughs> pretty much just like, you know, you know, you're number one on the, in the world. You're number one trending topic. What you doing? Is this <laughs> Why are you was, even bugging? Why, why, what's with you? You conquered why, why the you world tripping, crying because you stepped on a toe? <laughs> Bonnie, Bonnie wrote, uh, I, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Somebody says, we got this. I never knew what a trending topic was, but then Brian Brushwood trended worldwide, and I bought Blackwater on iTunes. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to some W show. That was me. That was giggling. <laughs> <over here. laughs> uh, this is... <laughs> Well, I hope there's a time when I find this uh, funny. Uh, <laughs> You're finding it funny right now. Well, this is uh, this is horror laughter. This is what the these are the laughter. Uh, Kuhan, will you run up and get me like five more of these? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right here. Uh, listen, but, um, it's the after show. Comedy Justin is out, and friend of Brian is in. I'm tagging <laughs> out. All right. Seriously. This is, this is, I, oh, would this be the same Justin Robbie on friend of Brian who spends like 10 full minutes coaching me into, you know, rolling with it. And the moment I try to judo it, you're like, but you're screwed. Attention whore. No, that was that was comedy, Justin. That was my friend, Justin. I see. Friend Justin's see. here now. Comedy Justin's a ruthless asshole who's trying to make a show funny. Um, Got it. Got it. And it's also not helping your cause when you were freaking out and Kuan was about to spit blood and laughter behind you. It's just Kuan's, Kuan's laughing like Kermit the Frog. He's just his hands are up in the air and he's... Um, and you're like, you're like, no, oh, my career! You're burning my career! I have children, you asshole! And so you're like, Oh my gosh. Uh, well, so, so no, listen, for real, number one, uh, you are a massive internet celebrity. And the fact that this came into play during this particular thing, it's like, it's like Tom said, it's an inconvenience, but it's also a reality of any kind of online thing. But since when in the history of online contests have there, <laughs> have there not been susceptible <laughs> people with large followings uh, playing havoc with it? You know, just, they just have that following. You have that following. Yeah. Yeah, I just hope, I hope everybody's able to explain and understand. Like, the only thing is everyone's going to think it's a coordinated attack at this moment for a specific reason. And it's not that. It's just that I happen to be live on the air and say, hey, while we're live right now, this would be a funny Wait, thing to there, do. Is there, like, somebody up on stage right Here's... now that we're blowing out of the water? M maybe. Uh, hey, darling, how are you doing? I am so excited. <laughs> Why? I'm so excited that I'm not having to carry the next brushwood. That you're, you're very uh -huh. See, and thank you. Picture evidence. <laughs> thank you. Oh, oh, you're talking about yeah. the pregnant, the pregnant woman thing. I thought you were saying. I was the woman of the relationship, and that's why I was bearing the child. Well, you're, you're, you're kind of doing that, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Every time you go to NACA and you stand out just a little bit, you <laughs> all mad about it. <laughs> you know, it's like... Oh, my gosh. You know, you know they've got to get... All right, all right, all right, all right. You know? uh, well, uh, did you tell me you saw it while I was uh, while your husband was the was a trended Bart Simpson, misspelled Libya, uh, uh, Josh Powell. I don't know who that is. Space Jam. I don't know why Space Jam is trending, but I just love that. <laughs>